Welcome back to Tam's Tips. So you have fruit flies, like I did this week. Well, I've got a surefire way to catch the flies so you don't have the problem anymore. What you need is a little glass bowl. I would make it glass and not plastic. And some apple cider vinegar. Now you can use another type of vinegar if you'd like, but I have found that this kind works the best. I've tried several different kinds. Um, what you're gonna do is just put some of this apple cider vinegar into the little glass bowl. Now, the reason why you don't wanna use plastic is because the vinegar kinda soaks into the plastic a little bit and kinda stains it. So if you don't want a stained bowl, then go ahead and use glass. Okay, so I put probably mm, maybe a fourth to a half a cup in there, about a fourth, probably closer to a fourth. And now I just need a little bit of saran wrap, put over the bowl. I'm gonna put it really tight over the bowl. Almost, almost it looks like it's not there. Okay. Then if you can find a sharp object, um, I'm gonna use a meat thermometer. I take the lid off, it's really sharp. So you could use a pen um, or a pencil but I have found that this works the best. So now I'm just gonna poke holes into the saran wrap. So the fruit flies are attracted to the apple cider vinegar and they go down into the hole seeking after the vinegar and they can't get back up. Now, if you haven't caught a fruit fly or two within I'd say about an hour, then you may need to make your holes a little bit bigger. I always find that I'm coming back making the holes a little bit bigger. Not all of the holes, but just a couple of them. So I'm just gonna start by expanding just a couple of them, just a little titch, just a little bit. Okay, fruit flies will go in, and then they can't come out. Um, it takes about 24 hours to catch a bunch of them. They just kind of slowly wander to it and and enter the bowl. So, you know, plan on at least a day, day and a half of just leaving this sitting out. You'll wanna sit it where the fruit flies are most prevalent. So, you know, if you've got some fruit that you have forgotten to throw away or um, some bananas or apples or whatever, um, maybe you've got fruit flies too. I've tried several ways of getting rid of fruit flies and to me, this method works the best especially when we get doing peach jam in here and we have peaches in here, we get lots of fruit flies. So anyway, first step would obviously be to get rid of your old fruit that might be causing the problem. Um, but once you're past that point of no return and you have fruit flies, this will certainly work really good. Now, here's a, let me get, show you a close up of those holes. Now, let me show you a jar that's already been sitting out for several days. This is kind of what it looks like. Every once in a while, I'll kind of, if there's, one, if there's a fruit fly that's stuck on the top that's still alive, I'll kind of just get them sticky and get them to fall down in. And so there's a little bit of vinegar up on the top of, of the plastic wrap, but you can see just how many um, I have been able to catch. There's probably ooh, maybe 30 or 40 in there or so. It's kind of gross, um, but very effective. So let me know in the comments if this works for you. Let me know if you've used apple cider vinegar, if it works, or if you use something different and it works. I would love to hear it, and I'm sure others would also love to hear it as well. So I hope I've been able to help you at least a little bit today and uh, we'll see you on the next TAMS Tips.